guys, today I wanted to show you how to rehydrate your clay when you get to the point that it is getting too tough to work with and you have too many cracks or wrinkles happening. So if I take this piece here and I tear it apart, it looks really, really rough on the inside here. The way that I want to hydrate this is I'm going to go ahead and tear this into a couple of smaller pieces so it's easier to work with and so that you can get this done more thoroughly. So let's see, I have these two pieces right here. I just pulled them apart. You can see that they're very, very textured and rough looking here. And so the way that I'm gonna fix this is I'm going to take my bucket of water right here and I'm just going to dip the rough parts, just dipping into the water, not the whole entire thing. And I'm not dunking the whole thing. So I'm just dipping like this and on this side, and I'm gonna take those two rough parts and kind of stick them together. It's almost like you're kind of doing some scoring and slipping because you've got some textured area and then you're adding a little bit of moisture to it to kind of help hold it together. And then I'm going to kind of mix this in my hand and you can see it's getting a little bit muddy. Um, normally we want to avoid this when you're rehydrating clay this way, it's kind of hard to, okay? But I am just kind of mashing this around, which is known as wedging, kind of wedging this within my hand here. Okay, I'm just part like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip each rough end into the water again, just like this. And I'm going to wedge it even more so. Okay, and I'm gonna keep working on the same piece for a while. Okay, I still have all these other pieces down here that I have to work through. Um, and it is uh, a little bit tedious. That's why I do try to avoid this as much as possible because rehydrating is not my favorite. Okay, but you can see it's still rough on the inside. So I'm going to get each of these, stick them together. And then I'm kind of just wedging this back together. Sometimes I do tear it and kind of wedge this, kind of smush these back in together this way to help soak up any extra moisture that's on the outer part. Okay, but you have to have that rough edge. If you have it, the smooth edge that's touching the water, it does not do very much other than make slip. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I am getting a little bit closer, so I'm just going to dip one piece and stick them back together as opposed to both. And I'm just working through. Okay, it's starting to look a lot smoother now. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but if you compare it to this, it's a little bit smoother on the inside. The other way that I can tell the difference is whenever I'm squeezing this compared to this. If I squeeze this, it's much more difficult. This is the one that I've been working on and it's getting better, it's more malleable. Okay, I am still going to do this a couple more times so I can get it as nice and fresh as possible before I set this aside, okay? Once I feel like I've gotten to a good point with this clay right here, I will take this, I'll set it down, okay? And then I would get another piece like this one here to work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this into two sections. I'm gonna take that rough edge to get back to the other rough edge. And I'm gonna start working through just like this, okay? So just dipping just barely in the water. We definitely don't want to dunk the whole thing. If you do, it's better to kind of let it air dry a little bit. Okay, so I'm just whew, working through this one. My hands got all used to the, the smoothness that I created for this one here, and now this one was really difficult. Okay, but I'm just 
wedging, pulling it apart, and then working through these steps here. Okay, so you're going to continue that for each bit of your clay. Once this one is nice and malleable where I want it to be, I'll add it to my first one that I did, and then I'll process the rest of these. And then it's going to be a lot easier to work with my clay in the future. Okay, so I want to kind of show you again on this first one here. If I were to, so this one that I already worked on, if I were to kind of roll it into a coil, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot easier to work with, right? You can see how easy I am manipulating this. This one, however, if I were to take this piece and roll it into a coil like this, it's a lot more textured, the wrinkles don't go away as easily, right? And then the manipulation on that, like my ability to kind of form it into what I need it to be is a little bit more difficult, but also it doesn't look as smooth as this one here, okay? So it's really important to rehydrate your clay. It is a little bit tedious, but it is necessary in order to keep working with your clay. Okay, but that's how you go about rehydrating.